I call this like the, the magic sauce of Ibogaine is its capacity to upregulate something called glial-derived neurotropic factor. And neurotropic factors are these proteins in the brain that um, people call it miracle growth for the brain because it's, it's, uh, a pro these are proteins that are able to help the brain regenerate itself to form uh, new neurons, new, new synapses. Um, and people attribute this, this property of ibogaine boosting uh, GDNF in some of its long-acting effects such that when people do an ibogaine treatment, they often have a reduction in cravings for their substance of choice for weeks, sometimes months, um, because there's something really fundamental happening in sort of a, a rewiring of the brain. Um, and this GDNF uh, has the capacity to, to repair and, and boost functioning in dopamine neurons, which are clearly implicated in addiction. And also, um, this has been shown promise in Parkinson's disease, um, because Parkinson's disease actually hits some of the same overlaps to some of the same brain structures as addiction, uh, namely being the, the substantia nigra. And I highlighted some of these structures, again, just to overlap. These are structures that are uh, heavily implicated in addiction uh, and also um, sites of action for, for the psychopharmacology of, of Ibogaine. And so um, this area, the ventral tegmental area, the nucleus accumbens, these are, if you do any addiction kind of neuroscience research, these are kind of the hot spots of where it's suspected that a lot of the, the learning and conditioning of uh, addiction is, is happening. Um, so there's something adaptive happening with Ibogaine and potentially with GDNF where it's potentially uncrossing the wires and regenerating brain cells in these, these deep what would be called like subcortical brain structures or even in the, in the brain stem.